Good evening, guys. Um, my name is John, and I am a type 1 diabetic. I was diagnosed last January. This is now September of 2014. So I was diagnosed in January 2013 with type 1 diabetes. Um, when I got first diagnosed, I was kind of shocked and I didn't really know that I could have had diabetes. Diabetes didn't run in my family. I uh, never had a history of any sugar problems. I played sports throughout my whole life, football and baseball. An avid sports fan, as you can see with the hats behind me. Um, but I uh, took it very hard, though. Um, I never knew how to accept it. But now, after last year, I initially went on medication and I went on to insulin right away as soon as I was diagnosed. They put me on Epidra and they put me on Lantus as a 24 insulin. And uh, last year I went through insulin for about maybe three months. And after that, it was over. I stopped using uh, insulin and I started just working on my diet and not eating so much sugar and so much carbs at one point. So I went through a honeymoon period for about um, I would say I was diagnosed in January. I was on a honeymoon from March or April till about November of last year. And then by December, I was having the ups and downs, the crazy blood sugars, and not knowing how to control it exactly. It got a little bit harder to control. Now, a year later, it's gotten somewhat better, but I have lost a lot of weight since then. I was 220 pounds when I got first diagnosed. Now I'm 180. So, I lost about 40 pounds, and uh, I'm trying to keep my weight up, but uh, the only way to do that is by having many meals in a day. Um, not so much as high carbs. See, with me personally... I don't know if anybody else shares the same situations and problems that I have, but I can't take a hot shower in the later afternoon or at night anymore. Because for some reason, every time I take a hot shower, my blood sugar seems to drop, and I don't want that to happen. And um, I take my shower in the morning usually. Um, breakfast is mostly considered low carb, nothing not as much high carbs as I used to eat in the morning time. Um, dinner, I usually have chicken or, or steak or tofu, um, a lot of veggies, uh, brown rice, um, pasta, some whole wheat pasta, and that's all has to deal with, like, you know, sizing it up with portion size controls or portion control of each carb um but yeah i mean controlling it is not easy some days some days you will have really bad days other days you'll actually have good days i can still go out and play golf um, my favorite sport and um but if i go out playing golf i'll usually bring a fiber bar with me um fire bar or protein bar um anything that has some sort of carbs in it and sugar that can keep your blood sugar up from dropping um a quick example for tonight of having a low blood sugar i had today one piece of toast in the morning with uh, a regular size choy bonnie plain yogurt with some cinnamon and a Truvia packet. And then after that, I had a protein bar after that in the afternoon. 
And then I didn't eat till later at six something, six thirty, I would say. And I had some pasta with some uh, chicken and a salad. Um, and then a little bit of brown rice. And the blood sugar went up. So it didn't react to that really well. So the blood sugar rose to about 156, 157. But as you sit around at night and as your blood sugar is up and you're letting it eventually gradually go back down, if you start to move around, at least for me, I know this happens, um, it will eventually drop pretty low if you're going, you know, if you're actively moving around a lot late at night. For some reason, it's weird. I mean, honestly, nobody can understand diabetes sometimes, and you can never control it. But, for example, I'll show you what my Dexcom I use looks like. And if you can see, it's 107 now, and it's steady. But right at 11.30, it was dropping down to 63 and further down. And I had uh, some apple juice and some tablets, sugar tablets. Um, the best advice I can give is to always have these on you. Uh, these are definitely a good choice to have with um, low blood sugar and a nice bottle of uh, Mott's apple juice. These sizes are absolutely perfect. There's enough sugar in it to get your blood sugar back up. It's 28 grams of sugar. And each one of these tablets are 4 grams of sugar. So that's more than enough to have whenever you're having a low blood sugar. Um, but yeah, when you have low blood sugar, you got to make sure you react quick enough. And luckily, you know, I know not that many type 1s wear a sensor or a CGM, as they call it, with a Dexcom. But um, once you see that your blood sugar is anything below 70, um, take a couple tablets, maybe take two or three, see what happens in about like five or ten minutes. And if it doesn't go up, um, you know, might add another tablet there. But you got to be patient because see some nights when I had low blood sugar and it was down in the 70s or not the 70s or more like the 60s it was uh, down and I would have I would overreact and I would take like close to three or four tablets and um, some nights it would gradually go back up to normal up to like a hundred or you know 105 110 other uh, nights, it would go up to like 150 and finally stop at like 160 or 70 and then eventually level back off throughout the night. But, you know, you never know what's going to happen when your pancreas isn't working correctly. So, um, right now, you know, it's pretty leveled, but, um, you know, as a type 1 diabetic, I don't know how exactly this happens, but um, it apparently is working. And my pancreas does produce insulin because um, it's September... Uh, what date is it? Um, September 18th, 2014. And... Um, I haven't taken I haven't taken any insulin probably since uh, the early part of July, so I'm a type one diabetic, and the doctor told me I was type one diabetic, but um, I wish he would explain that to me because I'm not really sure how is that possible when type one diabetes you do not produce any insulin and I still do so I am probably assuming I would be type one and a half diabetes because my diabetes is all regulated throughout my diet if I ate 
like a sub of like you know Italian sub or whatever like that in the afternoon like a whole big sub my blood sugar would probably go up to like 150 or something like you know it wouldn't not be just whatever like 110 um and other days you know it works absolutely fine so later i believe as they call it is a type one and a half diabetes and it is latent diabetes but it happens later in life um like jay cutler of the quarterback of the chicago bears got it when he was 23 or 24 type 1 diabetes, he automatically went on to um, the regular pen needles of insulin. And um, so far, he's been doing good with it. Obviously, he's still playing football, so he's doing pretty good. But um, if I can suggest anybody that has the opportunity to get a CGM, you should highly recommend, I highly recommend you get Dexcom because this is a lifesaver. Um it's uh it definitely helps with uh, controlling your blood sugar way more than going by the chance of your good old glucometer see it doesn't really help when you see a number like show up on the meter it might say 79 but your blood sugar could be dropping and it might be you know 61 in about like three minutes so if your blood sugar is dropping that fast, but with this Dexcom, um, your chances of avoiding hypoglycemic or passing out are definitely a lot better with this. Um, and it shows you at least, I would say, I think 12 or 16 hours, like throughout the day, all throughout the day of how your blood sugar has been. Um, like so far, this was my entire day right there. And, uh, it wasn't too bad, except for at night, obviously, but it's, um, it's a help, though, so, um, if you have any questions, though, or comments about diabetes or Dexcoms or any sort of questions about type 1, you know, you can ask me, let me know, and, uh, I'll try to respond to them as soon as I can. Um, but if I have any other information or any sort of, uh, problems that anybody else might have, I will definitely send another video and I will help you guys out. I hope this was informative for you and uh, I hope you enjoyed the little discussion about Dexcom. Thank you. Have a good night.